Alright. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here one and only, and welcome to some more Alune. So I'm gonna have to voice over this video because I kinda screwed up in a way. <laughs> but first things first, this character is now plus two. I'm trying to get this character to plus one sooner or later. I don't know when that's gonna be, but we'll definitely get it there. Okay, what am I doing next? Oh yeah, I'm going to adventure just to show my progress. So basically, I've gotten through most of the story, most of it, and this is pretty much everything I've done. All that's all over the place, so I'm gonna have to fix that later, but I'm now here, which is the last stage in two. I can go to hard mode and, you know, try to farm hard mode. But yeah, it's been quite a test. Um, oh yeah, I'm just, just resetting the team so I can take out all this stuff so I can fuse. But yeah, we're gonna do a little bit of fusing this video and then I'll just show you guys basically everything I got. And towards the end of the video, I catch that I wasn't recording my mic just because the f uh, I was having audio issues with a different mic that I was gonna use for like VR, but it wasn't connecting. So yeah, it feels bad. But yeah, we got quite a few five stars and stuff maxed. So we're gonna be going through all that. All right, so yeah, yep, just scrolling along. Wish I would have recorded this right, but yeah, I got this character and I got another legendary. Yeah, so basically I got three new legendaries since the last time you guys saw my account. A little Bone McCree over there. Oh yeah, I was trying to get my legendaries together but for some reason it wasn't trying to put my legendaries side by side it was just stack I guess it's just because they're in my team right whoever's in my team just goes first yeah I guess that's what's it what it is okay yeah that's what it is now I figured it out so yeah I was kind of stuck on that trying to figure what was going on there I mean it's also a good thing that I wasn't recording my audio too because my mic was like all the way on the other side of the room. I just came here to collect those. Ah, oh, this is weird. I keep forgetting how much I hate trying to voice over my videos just because I don't know what's going to happen next. But yeah, this is where we get start getting into diffusing. I was going to do the rares first, but then I realized I didn't lock my legendaries and I didn't want to end up like fusing them by mistake. I wish I would have got the legendary tank though. Because that, that definitely would have helped my team a lot. Considering that tank is actually pretty damn good at migrating damage. Especially if you have like defense increasers. That could actually be pretty good too. I didn't have another 3 star. For that and it just gave me that so I was just like damn it <laughs> so yeah it feels bad I didn't have another four star or rare so then we just started to get into the epic four star using seeing what we get from there look at my owl <laughs> I don't know I think about it I was trying to fuse a lot of things together. See what I can get. I'm not sure about that character. I need to go back and look at her skills, actually. But yeah, these five stars that I'm getting will probably be max, max level next week, and I'll try to fuse them together and see what we get. Hopefully we get something good out of it. Okay, what are we doing next? Oh yeah, we're finally doing a five. Oh nope. Nope. Hold up. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> nope, we're still doing f the force. <laughs> Dude, it hurts to see your gold go down like this. I'm just over here just fishing for legendaries out of this. Not even gonna lie to you. Danatos. We do have fusion points. 
My fusion points are nowhere near for a higher rarity. But this character was actually pretty good. I'll I'll talk about her skills later. I actually can't wait to like up her and stuff. Her skills were actually pretty good too as a debuffer. And we still have two more. What else did we get? Got that weekly done. Oh yeah, we got another one of you. Who I'm gonna I plan on like transcending later. So I'll put her in the farming team. And that's pretty much it. Oh nope, I forgot I still had those uh three star epics. I've been really like farming this event that's going on. So I've been I've really been saving my rubies. I've been actually buying quite a few of them. Got a few energy. You already got yelled at, try to do this. So yeah, we're not gonna do that <laughs> do that. So this character, I was curious about her skills. And it turns out that they aren't half bad to be honest. So her first skill, she gains crit, 20% crit from attacks. That's her um, second one. Her ultimate, she deals damage to all enemies and deals additional 20% to enemies that are lower than 50% of their HP. Her passive, she deals bleed damage from attacking an enemy and it, it goes up to three turns, which I thought was actually pretty good. Her second passive was if she hits an enemy who's bleeding, her crit chance increases to 20% and the user's HP, well the user gets healed by 50% of that attack, which is actually pretty good for like sustain in a way, if she can get the bleed though. Um, third passive is when she defeats a bleeding target, she gains 20% attack for two turns not too good in like bosses but in venture i think she could be pretty good i like her so i was gonna uh, build her later and then i wanted to see um yeah his i didn't know what the hell this guy did because this is my first time actually getting the five star and, well six star and being interested all right his um special he reduces damage for two turns. It's all incoming damage, too, so I'm guessing that's pretty decent. I don't know, because a lot of other characters have like higher defense. I'm not sure how his stacks up to everybody else's. His ultimate provokes, which is eh, kind of useful, but kind of not at the same time. It's 100% chance, though, so that's not too bad. Uh, his first passive, he gets a barrier that absorbs 50% of all attack, excluding soul damage, until his turn. So, the amount of damage absorbed by the barrier will not extend his uh, HP. Passive 2 increases damage. He increases his damage by 10% every time he takes damage. Upon sustaining a crit, increases it by 20% and may only increase up to 50%. Amount of increased resets upon using attack. So if he normal attacks or uses his 3, that's pretty much gone. So he's kind of like a staller in a way and, you know, builds up damage. Not too bad, not too bad, to be honest. I gotta like it. But he, it would have to be, he would have to be pretty damn strong for that. So that, I was saying that you probably want to just spam his two at best and let him build up that damage if he can hit hard. Okay, his passive three once blaze barrier is gained the same effect is shared with one ally if lilith is in the party 
Lilith also gets the Blaze Barrier and Absorption is increased by 30%. So yeah, pretty decent if Lilith's in the team and you know, gives it to another random teammate. So that's like three allies getting covered, basically. So not too bad, not too bad. Okay, then I was going to go see this character over... Nope, not that character. Over a little bit. Yeah, they have, there you go. <laughs> this character I've seen in the arena quite a lot, and I was curious of why. So she deals magic damage, and her special skill, she reduces attack of one enemy for two turns, and has a chance of straining, restraining them for two turns. Which is not too bad, not too bad. Um, her ultimate, she deals damage to all enemies, and that rude how dare you <laughs> deals damage to all enemies and has a 75% chance of physical stun um, for two turns so yeah I figured out that I wasn't recording with my mic at this point so <laughs> we're pretty much at the end of the video I just wanted to see this guy's skill okay so Increase evasion. Yeah, I guess that's all right. Wait, is that to all allies? No, to an ally. So I could just put that on my tank. Increases magic defense for ultimate. Eh, pretty all right. When gaining a a buff to an ally, the chance to gain one soul. Current HP, okay. Defeating an enemy, HP heals HP by max, has a 50% chance of one soul. Okay. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. That is pretty much it. Until next week, I will get these characters up to max and we'll fuse them. I say pretty good haul so far. We just need more six dots. More. More, I tell you. So yeah, that'll be fun. Whoops, I wanted to go here. Now I gotta get modern challenges done so I can actually get my uh, weekly stuff. But until then, guys, peace out. Well, I'm gonna have to voice over this video. <laughs> Feels bad, mate.